Hi everyone and welcome. Today we have something just that little bit different. This is the RDA 5807 Personal Stereo FM Radio Module. Just pop it out of this little bag. Now this was bought from AliExpress and at the time of recording it cost around about £1.81 UK or around about two US dollars. Now you do need to add shipping to that. So I'll around about £3.25 or $3.75. Now this is not a kit, it actually comes fully assembled. And now it might remind you of an FM radio kit that I did a review on. And this is this, this is the white FM2. This actually worked out really, really well. And I guess this could be considered as the next generation to this. Now as you can see, it's tiny. It just measures 47 millimeters by 16 millimeters. And yes, I'm still gonna do the mugshot test there. There you go, just for size comparison. Now its tuning range is pretty decent. It actually covers between 78 and 108 megahertz. So I guess it's covering the campus radio that they have in China. Now looking at the reverse, we've got four ICs. What I'm going to do is just take a photograph of this and then just gonna briefly run through those four ICs for you. So starting with this, this is a 6208A. It's a voltage regulator. Now this is a low dropout regulator and basically it operates by continuously varying its internal resistance with respect to the change in load resistance. This dropout voltage is a minimum voltage dropped across it for proper regulation and as its name implies this is very low for this particular regulator. Now the supply to this little board is between 2.8 and 12 volts so you've got a wide voltage tolerance here. Next to that we've got an AIM 23A10 and the microcontroller utilizes this for storing its data. Now we have got the main microcontroller itself, but unfortunately it's got no identification marks on it, so I can't say an awful lot about it. And then finally we have this, this is the 5807M, it's the broadcast FM radio tuner. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna connect up a little battery clip to this, and then we're gonna run through the controls, and then we can take it for a test drive. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so what I've done, I've simply soldered in this little battery connector, as you can see here. Now, since this little module employs a 3.5 millimeter jack for the audio outputs, what I'm going to do is utilize a little amplifier so you can actually hear what we pick up. And the amplifier we're going to use is this. This is the TDV26. This is an excellent little media player and FM radio. If I turn it to the side, you'll also see we've got an auxiliary in. So we can also utilize this as a little amplifier. If you're interested in this, I have made a little video on it. Now to connect these two together, we simply need a male to male connector lead. So let's do that now, like so. Now if you was wondering where the FM aerial is, would you believe we just plugged it in? It actually utilizes that little lead as the aerial as well. But if you're plugging in your headphones, it would utilize the headphones lead. Now before I put a battery on it, let's quickly go through those push buttons. So we've got four push buttons. The left hand one there, that's volume down, volume up, and then we have frequency down and frequency up. That's when you're searching the frequencies of your various stations. That left hand button as well, if you hold it down just a little bit longer, what it does is actually push this into a standby mode as well. Again, a useful little feature. So let's connect the battery and let's see where we can pick up. Little light comes on. I'm gonna switch on my little amplifier. There we go. AUX mode. Looks really mad, it's a smart speaker to play Radio 2 when you wake up. Absolute genius. Can't think of a better way to start the day. That's great radio, isn't it? From 4 a.m. Andrew introduced um, Christopher and Salman Rushdie. You won't break my heart. Oh, teaming up with BB Rakes. I've been teaming this on his socials for a while. He even managed... Off. That actually picks up quite a number of stations. I'm really impressed with this. So there you go. It's the RDA 5807 personal FM radio module from AliExpress. And in my opinion, it's an excellent value little module. It's eminently hackable and really fun to play around with. So all it leaves me to say is, as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch up with you soon.